Mercedes-Benz AMG Performance Division's 43 Series so far includes V6-powered variants of the C-Class, the E-Class, the SLC Roadster, and the GLE-Class and GLC-Class crossovers. Purists may decry this broadening of the AMG brand, best known for loud V8 engines, ostentatious styling and a general sense of excess, as a simple money grab that leverages a hallowed name against a less performance-oriented subset of buyers. But in the case of the GLC crossover, a sprinkling of AMG's magic dust takes a competent package and makes it more desirable. Based on the same platform as the C-Class, the GLC heretofore has been offered in the US only as the GLC 300 powered by a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. Sure, a modern Turbo 4 is perfectly adequate in this size of vehicle, but it's hard to get excited about 241 horsepower in a 4,000 pound crossover. And the standard GLC, and even its more rakish GLC coupe variant, looks a bit plain. At least its GLK predecessor made its own sort of boxy, rugged style statement. Mercedes-Benz couldn't just stand by while the competition continues raising the performance stakes in the compact luxury SUV realm. The BMW X3 slash X4 range offers up to 355 horsepower, the Jaguar F-Pace launched with up to 380 horses, the Audi SQ5 puts out 354 horsepower, and the Porsche Macan rules through with up to 400 horsepower. Thanks to AMG's comprehensive upgrade, the 362-horsepower GLC 43 aims to run with the best of them, and it looks the part, too. The AMG Touch It starts with a tasteful style makeover that gives the GLC some much-needed street presence. An AMG body kit and an attractive grille pocked with pinpoints of bright work make this GLC look a bit more aggressive but not too flashy. The GLC 43 also gets a mean-looking stance, especially when viewed from the rear, where chunky-looking 285 series tires wrap around 21-inch wheels, 20 inches are standard. The 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6 engine is a nice piece, too. Although it doesn't abide by the same one-man, one-engine philosophy as AMG V8S and V12S, the V6 does benefit from a different turbocharger and revised tuning compared with more mainstream applications of this engine. The formatic all-wheel drive system also is massaged by AMG to provide additional rear bias versus the standard system in the GLC 300, here sending a claimed 69% of the torque rearward by default. We especially appreciated the AMG team's extra effort in the sound department, in sport and sport plus modes, the exhaust makes delightful noises on overrun with crackles and pops galore, while the engine note itself is a pleasing growl. In the aforementioned modes, the quick-shifting 9-speed automatic transmission also adopts sportier behavior, downshifting as you brake for a corner and delaying upshifts until you're right at red line. Paddle shifters flanking the AMG Sport steering wheel are standard. Solid, sharp, sporty. On our German route near Mercedes-Benz HQ in Stuttgart, the GLC 43 proved solid and capable through twisting sections, with a satisfying heft to the steering and well-tuned settings for the standard air springs. On these relatively smooth and well-maintained roads, we found the ride plush and serene in comfort mode, while Sport and Sport Plus weren't particularly harsh. We'll have to see if these qualities carry over when driving on broken pavement, but our first experience left us impressed. Despite its higher center of gravity, it's easy to get the GLC 43 into a rhythm through corners, as it has relatively quick turn in, confidence-inspiring brakes and lots of lateral grip. It may not be quite as sharp and responsive as a Porsche Macan, which is uncanny in its ability to mimic a sports car, but the GLC 43 operates on a similar dynamic level as the sportiest versions of the Jaguar Ref Pace and the BMW X3 slash X4. And the GLC 43's cabin, like that of the standard GLC 300, puts it ahead of these competitors in terms of quality and ease of use. With the overall layout and most controls taken directly from the C-Class, 
which we named the best interior under $60,000. The cabin is a pleasant place to spend time, featuring good fit and finish in well-chosen materials. AMG's updates include sport seats and red contrast stitching as standard, while carbon fiber trim is an option. There is 19 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the rear seats, less than what you'll find in the SQ5, X3, and that pace but more than the Macan's 18. The GLC 43 Coupe, though mechanically identical to the conventionally styled GLC, trades even more cargo space and rear seat headroom for its sharply raked rear roofline. Some will be drawn to the coupe's increased exclusivity, but we'd save the extra few thousand dollars it's likely to command and go for the more spacious standard GLC 43. Starting at $55,825, the GLC 43 costs nearly $14,000 more than the GLC 300 formatic. But at least it includes as standard features such as blind spot monitoring and proximity entry that are optional on the base car. We wouldn't call the AMG version a bargain, options including leather upholstery, $1,900, a head-up display, $990, and various premium packages, between $2,350 and $5,950, can push the sticker well into the $60,000 range, but its pricing is about on par with the competition, save for the Macan, which can run much higher thanks to Porsche's massive options list. The GLC 43 shows that the AMG division doesn't have to go all out to create a performance vehicle that looks and feels more special than its mainstream sibling. And while it won't blow other crossovers into the weeds, that will be the task of the rumored GLC 63, it combines excitement and refinement in a nicely turned out package. The AMG club may be easier to join than ever before. But we'll support such democratization if vehicles like this are the result, are the result.